Hey, everybody, Joe here. Hey, everybody, Travis here. And this is Canada at the Movies. What he said. Yeah, what I said. And so um, we just wanted to kind of talk to you all about what happened this weekend um, yeah. with Marvel casting Robert Downey Jr. Jr. as Dr. Doom and what our uh, thoughts are on that and how they could maybe make it, you know, work. Um, but initially I did. I was not a big fan of the move. No, sir, I don't like it. I was not either. I felt like they were just grasping at what they had in the past. Like, yeah. it didn't give me confidence in them. Yeah. Not at all. I know everybody else is hype about it, but mm -hmm. they're hype cool, but yeah. I don't know. I think there's a lot of other actors who could have uh, portrayed Dr. Doom um, mm -hmm. better. I mean, there's so many versions of Dr. Doom in the comics that you can kind of, yeah. you know, go a bunch of different ways with it. Um, you could get a big name like Tom Cruise to do it. Too short. Or you can get like a lesser known person. Um, let me think of somebody. I got a perfect one off the top of my head. Who? And I lost his name that quick. Joe, who are you thinking of? <laughs> <laughs> You know, uh, um, the guy who played, uh, he's the guy from The Boys right now that's playing the, uh, one like the, the devil on the shoulder for... Oh, Jeffrey Dean Morgan. Yeah. He yeah. would have been a good doctor. Yeah, I was thinking Jeff Jeffrey Dean Morgan, something like that. Um, yeah, like, I think Dr. Doom, I mean, I know I'm a black guy saying this and this is probably weird, but I think the, the first Dr. Doom that we get that's done well needs to be a white guy. You know, like Thought that's just, that. yeah. yeah, yeah. So I'm not going to say anything, you know, like a, a black woman yet or anything like that. But no, no, no. I do have an idea for that, though. Who would it, who would it be? Google and Bathara. That could yeah. work, actually. Um, because there are versions in the care in the in where like we can have like, because we know Google got lost in um, the the Borderlands, basically. Yeah. Um, in the last season of Loki, right. and um, we know that she was her the love interest for Kang. Yeah. I know they're getting rid of the Kang um, thing, and I'm still trying to figure out how they're gonna get rid of the I Kang don't stuff. Know. Honestly, that's a lot of yeah. material right there just on Kang alone. Yeah, like we've got so many plot holes just on him. Right. To where we like, so how are we just gonna delete this? How yeah. are we gonna just snap this out and just be like, hey, it never happened? Exactly. Or he's not that important. That's that's a big character to be exactly. taken away, even if you don't use Jonathan Majors. That's still yeah. a big character. So my thought, okay. Travis, Go was ahead. that Google could be a there's there's two different versions of Kang that became like or basically were Doctor Doom, mm -hmm. right? So there was a Kang Doctor Doom that could be Google. There okay. is a version of Kang that is Google. Or, or the love interest of, of Kang, right? Yeah. And then there's the Doctor Doom that is Kang, okay. right? Uh, in another universe. So we could use that as a way to write out Kang. I would be cool with that. I think that could actually work. Yeah. Uh, like you said, I don't want them to rely on Robert Downey Jr. for everything. If we're doing bad, let's just throw Robert Downey Jr. in. I don't like that aspect. Exactly. And I don't even like the aspect of it being a multiverse Tony Stark mm -hmm. that became Doctor Doom. I don't like that. I don't like all. that at all. Like, to me, if I wouldn't have got him as Doctor Doom, I would have got Christoph Waltz, aka your boy that was in Django. Yeah. I would have got him as Doctor Doom. Like that would have been the perfect Doctor missed Doom. opportunity. Yeah. Like yeah. you could easily just have him be Doctor Doom. We've seen him credible as enough as a villain. Yeah. And credible enough as a good guy to where mm -hmm. you can be like, oh, yeah, that's Dr. Doom. That's right. going to cause issues. Out right. There. And we love Robert Downey Jr. Don't get me wrong. Robert J is great. Um, he's a dude playing the dude disguised as another dude. Exactly. He has that range. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But Dr. Doom is also from Latveria. Yeah. So we need somebody who I would prefer to have somebody who has the range to do an Eastern European accent. Yeah, I don't like, like, I liked Robert Downey Jr. as Sherlock Holmes, but Christoph Waltz can pull those accents off. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'd be more comfortable with that. So, um, I mean, there's there's a bunch of different ways to do it, but I think that the casting was 
disappointing to me. Yes. Um, and it's not that I won't be going to go see it or, or taking a, you know, a break from Marvel because of it or anything like that. But, um, you know, I think that in their writing rooms, I'm sure that there's so much, so many, you know, comic book nerds mm -hmm. that could be like, hey, we could go this direction to where uh, that can happen. Now, I know Kane got done dirty for a bunch of different reasons. They got him killed off by ants and Ant-Man. Um, and got beat up by Ant-Man. Yeah. Um, it's it's kind of like they squandered his greatness. Yeah, all before it even got started. Yeah, yeah. You make, um, you make this big thing our next big villain. Mm -hmm. Well, we beat him out in the first movie. Exactly. <laughs> like, <laughs> and we're supposed to be scared. Like, think about how they did Thanos, right? How Thanos was such a huge threat. Like, and it took movie after movie after movie. He wins. Yeah. Like, ultimately, he wins. And so, like, that's what you want from a main villain. Yeah, we had a whole Guardians of the Galaxy movie that he was in, mm -hmm. and he just sat in a chair. Yeah. It was just looming in the background. Yeah. We didn't get that with King. Nope. He nope. said, this is your, we had this big press conference. Here's your next Marvel villain. Mm-hmm. Loses the hand, man. Yeah. And we're supposed to be credited by these two post-credit scenes of, oh, here's another version of him. He's in Loki. Oh, we got another version. They got a whole stadium full of them. A whole stadium full of them. That what, didn't scare me. What happened to the stadium of Kings? Like, do do we snap them out of existence too? Doctor Doom is powerful, but he's not that powerful. No. <laughs> actually, I'm sorry. He's not. Actually, yes, he is. He is, but he's not. God if Emperor Doom. If it's our if it's RDJ I don't see it. Do you see him as God Emperor? Yes, eventually. Really? Eventually, yes. Um, I'm not taking away from Dr. Doom's character at all because he is a big bad. Like, he's a Galactus-level threat to the multiverse. Right. Not just to our universe, but to the multiverse. Magic user. Uh, can time travel. Uh, scientific mind um, can fight like knows I don't know how many martial arts knows all the languages that there are to know like he's all that right and I don't know if we can wrap that up in RDJ coming back as another version of Tony Stark that turns into Dr. Doom or however they do choose to do it it's like um I'm confused as to how they're gonna do it. Cause it's supposed to be doing in two years. It's supposed to come out May 2026. Yeah. And none of the movies coming out can, outside of maybe Fantastic Four, but it's set in a whole nother timeline. Yeah. None of these are connecting to Doom, let alone Kane. Right. So how is how are we gonna explain this? I don't know. <laughs> and that's that's what worries me because I think that you all are doing a good thing by trying to correct the ship, believe me, mm -hmm. because you know, Marvel did kind of lose some steam as far as, uh, you know, the movies and the television shows. I think that y'all were just trying to do too much. But I think perhaps maybe pushing uh, the whole Doctor Doom and Secret Wars back maybe two years to like 2028, something like that, it would give it more time. Yeah. yeah. It might give it more time to, to flesh out and make Doctor Doom the villain that he actually is. Like I know we're gonna have, like we were talking about Galactus and um, the Fantastic Four, and I was explaining to my boy here that I was just like, Galactus isn't really a villain. Galactus is a force of nature. And so like, the it's like we're fighting tornadoes and hurricanes and things that are inevitable to happen. Like Galactus is inevitable. Dr. Doom is on that level of inevitability. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. we, we have to have that, but I, you know, I would have loved to see someone newish come in and reprise a role as, as Dr. Doom. Um, again, love RDJ as an actor, um, love everything that he's done, but just because you're familiar with him doesn't mean that it's going to turn into a great film. Yeah. Yeah. I think a lot of people are just going to say it's great just because he's back and the Bruce Lee movies are back. Yeah. 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 It's great that he's back. But maybe they could have brought him back as, um, what's the bad Iron Man? Superior? Oh, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, that would have Because if he wanted to play a villain, that would have worked. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It could have worked that way. Yeah. I didn't I didn't need him as dumb. Nope. We'll probably get some hate for people being like, you're not excited. I'm excited, but I'm not really I'm nervous. Crazy. I'm yeah. nervous. That's a good way. I'm it. not not excited. Right. Because I love RDJ and I want him back. As an actor, mm-hmm. I'm a fan. Yeah. I'm a fan of the actor. Yeah. Um, and I know he has range. I've seen him in not just Marvel stuff, like stuff before that, as well as some of the things in between yeah. where like our indie films that some of y'all probably ain't even seen. Yeah. So <laughs> exactly. I'm a fan. <laughs> um, but I don't know if it's a fit. Right. And that's what makes me nervous. Definitely. I agree with you on that because it's probably one of the first times I've questioned Marvel and their, their casting. casting. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. We're used to, as a DC person, we're used to every casting being questioned. Yeah, so, exactly. So, yeah. yeah. Th- this, that was nothing new for DC. Yeah. When it comes to Marvel, they're generally great. Yeah. But this one, I'm just kind of like, I don't know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. This one, this one makes me question it. So, yeah. That's all you got? That's all I got. All right, cool. Well, I've been Joe, <laughs> and this has been Travis. We've been Canada at the movies. Please click that like, share, and subscribe, as well as hit that notification bell. And y'all have a contest today. Peace. Peace.